My name is Artur Busch and I'm the creative director of Ecom Hub. And this is Creative Analysis Episode 6. It didn't bring any. Hey, come so today we will take a look at a company named Gainful. They're a supplement brand. They make uh, personalized supplements, customized uh, uh, for guys that, for guys and girls that go to the gym. And uh, yeah, I, I have been looking at them for some time uh, because they do really, really great branding and that's how they caught my eye. They have a really cool website. Go, uh, definitely go check them out. You can learn a lot of things from their website. But today, let's just take a look at the ads. And uh, yeah, the first thing we can see already, only nine ads. That is not good. Like, no matter how small or how big your brand is, you need more than nine ads, especially in these times. Like. Q4, it's not acceptable. So there, we can immediately say that they're not testing enough, and we can see that the, uh, some ads are uh, doubling and uh, repeating. So very few ads, only like five different variations of ads. That's not gonna cut it. It's not gonna scale. So very interesting why they are uh, running so few ads. But uh, yeah, let's take a look at some of them. Yeah, really cool hook. I like. Yeah, I like this. So they just put the text on the video, but they do it in a, mo a little bit more creative way, so it catches the attention more. Again, this is a cool takeaway you can take for your ads. Try this as well. Okay, they have done it not only for the hook, but throughout the whole video. Interesting. Mm. And they have done it in this uh, storytelling UGC style, which is quite a unique combination. I haven't seen this, so this is a cool idea you can try for your own brand. You can literally take and uh, copy this concept. This, uh, this is cool. I like it. Already, one idea we can take and try for our own brand. We can see this has been launched when? So, this has been launched. Okay, it's inactive right now. It shows inactive, but this worked for quite a long time it seems so yeah let's see what they're doing here yes I like this hook strong hook any any hook that starts with how for example here how I'm getting in the best shape of my life our brain human brain automatically wants to hear like how we get curious when we hear this statement so this is a hook that we also use often, how I did X, how I did this, and this is also the same thing, and uh, yeah, it's in the, the subtitles are, the text is uh, basic TikTok style, which is also quickly, this can be edited in the phone, and this is a screen recording, always we like to use those to show how the experience will be. Okay, and this ending screen, so it's kind of, the beginning and the whole video was uh, like kind of UGC, TikTok, not so professional style, you know. But the uh, ending, this screen looks super clean, super professional. As, as I said before, these guys know their branding. And uh, you can see how cool their products look, uh, what you get in the package. And the call to action is take the quiz. So it's not buy, it's take the quiz. So you can get your personalized, uh, personalized formula for your protein. So again, cool ad, uh, cool ad, I like the call to action. And okay, so this is a different hook. I like the background. This is really eye-catching. It looks cold outside, he's naked, and it's the nature. It looks really like some kind of bridge, some kind of hill. This is cool, I, I'm sure this has a cool, uh, a good watch-through rate from the thumb stop rate, I meant. Yeah, similar type of ad, yeah, cool hook. So they're testing some hooks. Let's watch this one. So this is a 
classic UGC again with the same call to action. Classic, classic UGC. Good actor, uh, really natural delivery. Yeah, uh, this script, this is really, really basic script. Uh, you can take this as a good example. They just walk you through the process of how it is of using the product, like kind of story, story type of way. So this is a, one of the most basic ways how to make UGC and it also works the best from what we have seen. Okay, girls as well, so different, different actors uh, speaking to a different buyer persona. Before they were speaking to men, now speaking more to women, which is cool. Okay, so here they are going more from the problem standpoint. They are starting with the problem and then they provide, uh, showing it as a solution. Before they were kind of showing the dream outcome, what the client achieved and then the product, but this they started with the problem, so another different way. So again, they, they have a really good, uh, good variety of ads, a uh, go, good amount of different ad types, but just not enough. I don't know why they're not running more. I don't see any pictures. Before they were running a lot of pictures, but not right now. Let's look at the last video. Yeah, so the same thing, same ad pretty much. So yeah, uh, the key takeaways from this, I think we can take this idea with the text on the, on the paper, written on paper, cool idea we can try. Uh, we can take really good call to action example, how to end the video in a really great way, how to show the products, what's inside, what you'll get, and uh, also give the branding. Uh, gain some points from branding, you know, uh, give the feel of the brand and how clean it looks. Uh, and yeah, some good UGC examples. Uh, I don't like that they're putting, putting this text, not straight, but like this. I don't think it's a bad idea. Uh, some people think it makes the video look more engaging, uh, but nah, it's just it's just harder to read and you have to think about the e how easy it is to read, how easy it is to get the message and there's no point of creating, of putting text like this when it's not straight so that's a big no, that's a big no. And uh, yeah, this actor was really good, this can, you can use this video as an example of, uh, for an actor for UGC and also different types of ads, uh, which is good, different types of buyer personas they're speaking to. But overall, ad account, the ads are strong, the ads are good, but not nearly enough. So, yeah, a lot of things they could improve, but we can also learn some things from them. So, yeah, uh, so I hope this was uh, valuable for you. This is episode number six done, and uh, see you in the next episode. Bye.